name is Soy Olufor and I'm the principal consultant at Leafed Consultant. <laughs> Leafert Consulting is a technology-driven professional service provider in the areas of accounting and data analytics, business, finance, and tax advisory services. And um, right now, we're on a mission to raise in 1,000 data-driven businesses because we have realized that um, the, the way you know businesses are being run right now has changed drastically and data is the major force behind it and um, we need to empower more businesses in Nigeria to become you know data driven so that they can compete at the global um, level and that's the power that data gives to businesses you are able to make informed decisions you know and not decisions um, driven by emotions or driven by how you feel or feeling you know and that's the superpower right now that every business must have. And we are here to help businesses achieve that. Yes, I, I, think, I think the pandemic um, opened our eyes, our eyes to, you know, a new way or a different way of doing business that most of us did not pay attention to. And something I know we've helped our clients achieve thus far is you know, incorporating hybrid um, way of working, you know, as a way to also minimize their operational cost. And when I say hybrid, what we realize, what the pandemic made us realize is that it's not actually every staff that you need that has to be within a building. For some, they could actually do their job remotely and they're still very functional, like they're still very productive. So what we've done is to help our clients look into this hybrid way of working and helping them, you know, streamline the um, positions that requires, you know, the physical presence and the ones that do not require physical presence or remotely also. And by so doing, that has also helped to, you know, reduce their operational cost and um, um, but that's what we are all about, as I said, is just to help our, be, our, our client um, to help them manage the cash flow that they have right now. We can all tell that there's limited cash flow, you know, in, in the economy right now. So we are helping them to manage it. And I, I just spoke about how, I mean, one way we are helping to achieve that. Um, but there are, different, there are diverse things also that we are doing. And we are also trying to make them see how they can leverage on technology you know to make their businesses better and possibly even get more patronage you know so um it's been fantastic for me i think the pandemic just challenged every one of us to do things differently and for me i think in our company also it has really really helped us to truth be told it, our revenue has even increased funny enough it's pandemic but yet our revenue has increased because uh, you know that forced us to look outside like we had to think outside the box and the result has been fantastic and that's what we are helping our clients to, to achieve so in 2019 i was opportunity to be in um 12 states i was touring nigeria basically speaking to um, business owners and one common thing that I was able to get from these business owners and that is me speaking to like 18,000 business owners because as I said from 12 different states is that they really don't even want so much from the government what they just want to have is a conducive environment for them to do their business and when I say conducive environment it has to do with security it has to do with transportation it has to do with a stable economy right now the volatility of the foreign exchange has really really upset a lot of businesses you know they get to buy at a particular price by the time they sell and they are ready to buy again they cannot even get it at that price again so um this instability you know in the economy is something that is really 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 disturbing you know businesses so i'll just say i rally to the government which what business owners really want is just a stable economy 
a stable environment for them to do their business. Trust me, most of them are not even looking for handouts. They don't want grants. What they want is, I just want a good environment for me to do my business and for my business to thrive, for me to be able to, you know, predict the um, workout solutions also for the business. And if they can do that, I'm sure that business owners will be happier and they'll be more successful.